In the heart of the Swiss Alps, on the shores of Lake Geneva, in the land of banks and discretion, you will discover the most secretive place in Switzerland. In the middle of a warehouse complex, a stone's throw from the border with France, is the Geneva Freeport. Watched by surveillance cameras and surrounded by barbed wire fences, this complex is traditionally a custom zone where merchandise is stored before being exported abroad. But today, it has become a permanent storage site with 60,000 square meters of space rented by the city of Geneva to transporters or to private individuals to safeguard their assets. Behind these anonymous double locked doors, there is gold and diamonds. It is also the largest wine cellar in the world with three million bottles laid to rest. Grand Cru, bottles worth 500, 1,000, 2,000 dollars, quietly maturing and gaining in value at a constant temperature and humidity. These buildings are anti-earthquake and the doors resistant to explosives. And to protect these treasures from fire, a special room houses hundreds of extinguishers that can be activated at any moment. Another reason the Freeport takes so many precautions is because behind its gates rest priceless works of art, thought to be worth tens of billions of dollars. It's perhaps the world's largest museum, but a museum no one can visit. The Geneva Freeport is one of Europe's best kept secrets. It stores works by Picasso, Rembrandt, Leonardo da Vinci, and thousands of antiquities a treasure the size of which nobody knows the scale or the value. You'll never obtain an inventory of all the works in the Freeport. Who knows how many there are? 300? 3,000? 300,000? Another secret is the name of the owners of the works. You don't want anyone to know what you're up to. And that's where the Freeport comes in. Recently, a number of cases have tainted the institution's name the looting of Jewish assets, money laundering, tax fraud. It's hard to say if it was hidden or not, but it was kept very discreetly in the Freeport. The Geneva Freeport is an El Dorado for art dealers, wealthy heirs and fraudsters. It's where they do their business hidden from view. One man agreed to open the doors of the Freeport to us. Yves Bouvier. With his managing director, Ramon Cassais, he runs the world's biggest company in the transport and storage of artworks. Are there customs offices here? Swiss customs are here permanently. The site is controlled by them and they impose the opening times. It's impossible to enter outside of those hours and Swiss customs permanently control that. The procedures in place are the strictest in all Europe. Every day, dozens of priceless artworks enter or leave the storerooms managed by Yves Bouvier's company. There's even a special workshop to pack and prepare the works for shipment. This is a very important painting that's leaving for an exhibition in a museum in Hungary, in a special isothermal crate. Here, look here. It has special antacid paper. What's that just behind? A painting by Modigliani. I shouldn't be telling you that. 